Styles has been tied to the building and development industry in South Florida for nearly a half century, seeing Fort Lauderdale grow from its infancy to what it's become today, a sophisticated international city of commerce and tourism. Just visit our area's most prominent commercial properties and you can be sure that Terry W. Stiles had a hand in their development, construction, and probably the maintenance of their surrounding beauty. The philosophy of how we grew into what we call a full service company is that uh, we could control the quality and also the time and the response to our clients better if we had uh, full control of the disciplines. A uh, good example is architecture, if we need site plans done overnight, we've got that capability to do it. Um, and also it's a, it's a cost factor where once you get the disciplines in uh, sync with each other, then there's savings of, uh, that evolve from knowing each other's uh, characteristics, uh, criteria, and it's always seemed to work better for us uh, to produce the product in a better quality level and also a better time frame. Terry Stiles' father, Howard, founded Stiles Construction in 1951 in an era where a business relationship was formed on a handshake and an impeccable reputation. Back in the, uh, the early 50s when my father started the company, it was a, a business of integrity and uh, the scope of the work at that time and the amount of players that were there, it was, it was basically contracts by uh, handshakes. I know that it, uh, his subcontractors never had a subcontract, even when I came out of school and, in 1971. We have a one-page contract hanging in our lobby that was the typical contract with the owner and it basically he said I will build you a three-bedroom, two-bedroom, two-bath house uh, for X dollars and in this case is 9550 bucks and two signature lines. And, uh, things have changed uh, but still I think we do a lot of uh, different segments of our business basically through the trust. A lot of our partners really depend on how we direct the development project out of a trust level. In 1971, while Terry was pursuing a business degree at the University of Kentucky, Howard Stiles died unexpectedly. We were doing uh, probably five or six houses a year at that time and a couple of uh, small warehouses. Uh, uh, when my dad died, we had built a 15,000 foot warehouse, which I thought was the biggest thing I'd ever seen in my life. And when he did die, we didn't have it rented, and I didn't have any idea as to how it was going to get paid for or if we would ever lease it. But it, luckily, it did lease, and uh, we still own that building. Right now. Stiles Construction was beginning to focus its efforts on commercial construction as well as development, including the transformation of 64 acres of farmland into Broward's first master plan business community, the corporate park at Cypress Creek. We built a 50,000 foot spec office with no tenants. People thought we were crazy. Andrews Avenue was a two-lane road. Uh, Cypress Creek Road was a two-lane road that stopped at the turnpike. It didn't even go over the turnpike. People thought we were out in the middle of the boonies. From that though, that leased out and we built our second building, our third building. Uh, we had a huge opportunity when Olympia New York uh, actually approached us for buying our company and at that time I wasn't interested, I was single, and uh, I just wanted to keep plodding along. And the 54-acre piece on the west side of the tracks came available, and we ended up buying that. At that time, I didn't have a clue how we were going to pay for it. I went back to Olympia in New York, and they agreed to put up the money, and that's how we got started in the corporate park. And so from being the guy that was considered crazy when we started, uh, all of a sudden we thought they thought we were geniuses. Well, I'm not sure that was the case either, so we were just lucky. Terry, determined to control the quality of his company's work and name, would eventually form a multifaceted network with the capability to see a client through from initial site selection to the management of their property and beyond. Currently celebrating its 47th year, Stiles Corporation is South Florida's largest full-service real estate developer. The company has experience with virtually every type of commercial real estate project. Throughout the past 25 years, Terry Stiles and his companies have deservingly garnered one award after another. But he is quick to give credit to his management team and associates for many of his achievements. I think the depth of the management team here and the, the ability to work together in the format they're doing in, in today's process has just been 
the biggest reason for the success that we've had. I think our average tenure has got to be at least 12 years with our senior management group. Uh, a lot of these guys just came out of school and I hired them. A lot of guys have stuck with me through the hard times. Uh, and most of them all grew up in the industry, as we did. Recent crowning achievements include the Los Olas Center with partners Bill Horvitz and Steve Halmos. And with Wayne Huizenga, he developed the Republic Plaza, formerly known as the Blockbuster Building. To only examine the apexes of Terry's career would mean missing the true depth of his character, for it was during a period of turmoil in business and in health that he proved he was a man of strength, integrity, and persistence. I'd say the late 80s and early 90s uh, were probably the toughest period of time I've ever gone through. Um, we had held on to a lot of real estate. Uh, uh, we had over leveraged it. And when the uh, 86 tax laws changed, and then when the, uh, the entire lending industry decided that commercial real estate development was not an area that they wanted to be in, uh, we were faced with some hard times. In 1989, I was kind of faced with a little bit of surprise. I had open heart surgery. Uh, kind of gave you the uh, the wake-up call that everybody talks about. And, uh, kind of made you sit back and analyze uh, your life and what's important and who's important. And, and it also makes you say you got to live a little bit, you know, after you get through something like that. So we work hard here, but we also play pretty hard here. And, uh, I think that one event changed uh, the way I look at life and hopefully the way my kids look at life a little bit too. From that period onward, Terry committed as much time as possible to his family. Now, in much the same way Howard Stiles inspired his son Terry, Terry is now passing on his example to his daughter. Business-wise, I think he's taught me to always be considerate when I meet people. They always say, your father's such a good person and such a nice man. And in our industry, it's very competitive and you get caught up in the deals and everything, but I think he's always been able to balance that. And as a father, I admire him for his commitment to the family. He always was supportive no matter what we did. From his father's small but proud business constructing homes, Terry Stiles has built one of the most prominent and well-respected corporations in South Florida. This man of vision and honor stands as a pillar among his peers, the solid foundation for his family and the cornerstone of development in South Florida. <laughs>